leveling in Shadow War can be a rather long process. So today I'm gonna show you the fastest way to level up in this game. With this method you can level up two times in just three minutes and it's super easy to make. But before I show you how the method works, you may need to know how to increase your XP gain from any action. And one of the two ways to do this is to get the wealth gems. They give you both 50% more XP earned and if you have both of them they will give you 30% more XP. Another way to get even more XP other than the gems is to log in into the BB Play. If you log in with your email or account, you get 3% more XP for the rest of the game. To know how to increase your XP gain, it's time to actually get it. So now we're gonna go to something called Online Conquest. On Online Conquest you can choose between Rank Conquest and Friendly Conquest. But for this method we're gonna go to Friendly Conquest. On Friendly Conquest you can search up your friend's name and attack their fortress. But this time we are gonna attack my own. And the reason for that is because in my fortress I have a lot of weak orcs. As you can see here. They have a lot of weaknesses and that's actually on purpose. Because with these weaknesses, I can instantly kill them and get all the uh, XP. And since they are pretty weak to beast and flames, it makes so I can instantly kill them with Graug or a flame shot. So for this uh, fortress, I'm gonna use the Graug, the War Graug, to kill them. I just need to get the captain first though. Like you see here. I'm now gonna show you how I destroy this fortress and get the XP in just 3 minutes. And after I will show you, I will then show you how to make one yourself. First thing I'm gonna do when I'm gonna destroy this fortress is to mount the Graug and instantly break through the gate here. And as you can see here, because of their mortal weaknesses, I can instantly kill the captain. The best weakness the mortal beast father and head. Weak weakness to uh, headshots or top headed or something like that because that will make you instantly kill them with a the bow and the weird thing with the shower war is that if you don't kill the captain yourself you won't actually get any XP so now that we are taking over one point we're gonna go to the next and we're gonna try to be before the other captains As you can see here, I was able to kill all of them in just one punch, and that reduced the slow mo the motion time when you kill a captain by a lot. When you finally come to the throne room, you will first begin to kill the bodyguards first for the XP, and then you will go after the overlord. For this fort, I'm gonna use the flame arrow to kill, kill these two bodyguards first. And then you stick glaive on them to kill them faster. Like you see here, I bo killed both of them at the same time. And now I go after the overlord. By completing the mission, you often get 84,000 XP. So guys, now that you know how the fort works and everything, it's time for me to actually show you how to create it yourself. 
And in the worst state example, I'm going to use Mog the Merchant here. And for this, I'm going to shame into level 1, and I, then I'm going to use something I call Stats Lock. Now that I have uh, shamed him and made him very weak, it's time for me to actually use something called Stat Lock. And that's when you, you take the orc in the garrison. And then you take him out again. Because now he can't actually get any more uh, weakness and strength. Since now his stats are locked forever. And he can't actually become stronger or weaker. So now we can use this as, as our advantage. And make him go back to level 80. As you can see here, I have leveled him over 65, and now he can't actually get any more weaknesses or strength. So now he is weak forever. I have a weak orc. You only need to take him to the garrison and move him to one of the, one of the forts, and take him as a warship or a bodyguard. For this, uh, for the, my fort, I needed to, uh, 21 orcs to complete it. So, so now we need uh, 20 more. And the uh, orcs they have uh, the beast for their weakness and mortal flammable. These are one of the two best and any other than that should be soft head. Because that will allow you to instantly kill the captain. But when you are done it's only just putting two orcs as their bodyguard. And now you, you can begin the killing. One more thing, uh, one wolf chief can only have two bodyguards, and if he has more than that, then one of the bodyguards won't actually spawn. So keep that in mind. By the way guys, before you start filling your map with the captains, I recommend you to complete all the DLC missions and output missions, because they often make your orcs disappear from the map. If you play on PS4 you can always uh, search up Egotech and attack my fort instead of making one yourself. I will not change anything on my fort so you guys can use my fort as long as you want.